Welcome to Car Design Academy, where we help aspiring designers master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training and personal mentoring. Today we're going to be drawing SUVs inside view. We're going to start with an off-road capable vehicle like a Jeep or a Land Rover, and then we're going to move on to what's called a crossover, and that's something that you might find uh, more on the road, more for families, more active, more dynamic, but still capable of some off-road use, but, but not true off-road capability. So uh, we're going to start with the, the off-road vehicle, and we're going to talk about some of the proportional differences between uh, SUVs and sedans and crossovers. So uh, I'm going to start with my ground line. First thing is the wheelbase. Typically, an SUV has fairly large tires and a fairly short wheelbase. And so the usual five wheel ratio of wheelbase to tire diameter uh, is a little bit different. We're going we're gonna to do something more like four and a half wheels. So I'm going to draw my circles. One, two, three, four, four and a half. Also going to indicate a bit of clearance over the tires for suspension travel because as the SUVs go over obstacles, they, the, the tires move a lot. And so we have to have a lot of clearance over those tires for, for those obstacles, for the, for the wheels to, to move up and down in the suspension. Uh, also, uh, SUVs have a high ground clearance. So if we look at the center of the wheel, uh, whereas a sedan might have the, the, the rocker or the bottom of the car well below the wheel center, on an SUV, it, it is at the wheel center. I'm also going to draw what's called an approach angle and a departure angle. And this is going to tell me where the bumpers need to be so that as the vehicle is climbing over obstacles, the bumpers are not going to get caught on those obstacles. And so we want to have a very, very generous approach angle. So I draw this line that, that uh, goes between the tire, the bottom of the tire, and where, where the bumper is going to be. We're going to talk about the height of the vehicle. The overall height is, is quite a bit taller than a standard sedan, obviously. So instead of two wheels tall, it's going to be more like two and a half wheels tall, or maybe two and a quarter. Also the windscreen. Windscreen is much more upright, so I'm going to aim the windscreen at the center of the front wheel. And then keep the back end fairly upright and vertical. And this, is, this is really because off-road vehicles uh, prioritize passenger space and cargo space over, over sleek lines. So because the ground clearance is so high, we might actually see some of the suspension and drivetrain below the rocker or below the bottom of the vehicle. And so as the, as the proportions of the vehicle come into focus, I can start to darken some of the lines. You can see I've given the, the wheel openings a more square appearance. It just, it's just a rugged, uh, it just gives it a, a, a greater sense of ruggedness, toughness, but it could be any shape. Could be round, could be trapezoidal, could be directional. The lines on the vehicle are fairly par parallel. Now this doesn't have to be the case. This is just a, the, the, the case with typically with SUVs which have a much more functional uh, aesthetic. You know, we're not really trying to go for a, a very specific uh, design language at this point. We're just trying to um, we're just trying to capture the proportional characteristics of a typical off-road SUV. Front door is going to be just behind the front wheel. And the rear door touches down just, just ahead of the rear wheel center. And I might incorporate a, a strong C-pillar element. SUVs typically have large sidewall tires, meaning, meaning the, the, the tires have a lot of face to them. The, the rims are fairly small, and that's, again, to, to help the vehicle uh, overcome obstacles without damaging the suspension or the, or the rims. 
and they typically have a much more aggressive tread. So I might introduce a few indications of a tire tread. And we might introduce some, some rugged details like a roof rack on top gives it, gives it that uh, greater sense of, of function and cargo capability. So how might we contrast that with a crossover? Crossovers tend to have um, slightly smaller wheels, slightly less ground clearance, but, but still well above the ground clearance of a typical sedan. So I'm just going to draw my ground line. I'm going to draw my wheels. This time I'm going to do just a little bit less than five wheels. One, two, three, four, and then maybe four and three quarters wheels. Again, wheelbase is still fairly short, but the tire diameter is slightly bigger than a typical sedan, but not exactly the same as a typical sedan. And the ground clearance, rather than being at the wheel center, might be just slightly below the wheel center, but still well above the ground. We're still going to have a bit of clearance over the tires. And the overall height of the vehicle is going to be still slightly above the two wheels. Crossovers still have a, a, a fairly strong approach and departure angle, but not the same, not to the same degree as, a, as an SUV. As I said before, most crossovers have a, a sleeker appearance to them. So, uh, so the, the windscreen might touch down more over the center of the front wheel at the top of the wheel versus at the, at the wheel center. A faster windscreen angle, maybe some, some more dynamic character lines in the body side. Again, you can still play around a little bit with the shape of the wheel openings. They could be round or they could be slightly square. They could be trapezoidal or they could even be directional. There's a lot of variety in the crossover space in terms of sleekness versus, uh, versus storage capability. So every car is a, is a balance. Every car and every, every vehicle is really a balance between the needs of interior space, cargo space versus sleekness and, and style. So something like a sports car might have a, a much more aggressive silhouette, which gives it a very sporty appearance, but it's not, not necessarily the most uh, family friendly shape. And it's definitely not a place to store a lot of cargo. So you can see, there's quite a, a big difference between the off-road SUV and the uh, crossover. Yes, the off-road off SUV has these very, very linear parallel lines. It has lots of ground clearance, large diameter tires with lots of sidewall. Uh, we have a uh, fairly tall glass area, very upright seating position, lots of storage space. So it's got, it's got a very boxy profile and the uh, Crossover has a, a slightly sle a, a sleeker appearance, a more dynamic appearance, more ground clearance than a sedan, but, but not quite as much as the true off-road vehicle. If you're looking to take your car design career to the next level, you need a mentor who can show you the way. Go to www.cardesign.academy and book a free discovery call. We can help you map out a strategy to master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training and personal mentoring. Whether you're just starting out on the journey or you're looking to level up, subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on Instagram at cardesign.academy.